There's been a lot of talk about consciousness. Overvalued consciousness, undervalued consciousness. The importance of consciousness, the unimportance of consciousness. But really, what is really being talked about here? Ultimately, what the philosophy comes down to is what is the meaning of life? What else could it be a question of? A question that cannot be answered. The ultimate question of life cannot be answered with little meanings that take place within life. No particular meaning can describe life. What can be said to be true is that the sum of all meaning is the whole of life. When you truly understand this, you understand that there's nothing to understand. And this is what people really have a hard time wrapping their minds around. That it just is. That's all. It just is. People automatically reject this. It can't be that it just is. It has to be something other than what it is. This is where a rainstorm of labels come in. Labels of context, labels of boundaries, labels of content, labels of thoughts, words, and actions. And none of these labels can be used to label life. There's no particular inventory item that can be used to describe life. No particular experience of conscious awareness, whether in thought, word, or action, that can be used to describe life. Doesn't matter what it is. Not science, not religion, not anything. Because it is a nothing wherein there is everything. And it just is. It didn't used to be, and it's not gonna be. It just is. And what is it that is just ising? The everything that is, because there is nothing. Subconsciously, you know that this is so. In order for there to be form, or any kind of object, you need the space, the emptiness, the nothingness, to contain that form or object. So any meaning that you hang on this nothingness is just that, a meaning. Any meaning constructed from thoughts, words, and actions is not the meaning of meaning, because there is no and because of the absence of meaning, there therefore can become meaning within the meaningless. The non-meaning itself creates a context for meanings to take place in. What's the meaning of life? There is no meaning. Life is meaningless, but meaning can be created within life. The everything that is, is it to be valued, is it to be overvalued, is it to be undervalued, is it important, is it not important, is it sacred and divine, is it mundane and defiled, is it a phenomenon of God, is it a phenomenon of science in the material world. It is all of these things, and yet it is none of these things. Just as you are everything, but yet there is nothing that is you. Then what is the nothingness itself composed of? Pure, raw energy. It's also been called consciousness, but perhaps that is an ill-suited word. Most people associating consciousness only with a brain firing neurons. It's also been called star stuff, but it can't really be 
called star stuff because even star stuff is just a manifestation within the energy. So it is just a present energy. Even this too being an ill-suited label because ultimately it cannot be defined by a label. So get rid of all your labels because that's all they are, labels. One feature about life that should be recognized is that life does everything it can to convince you that there's something to figure out and a way through your means to figure it out. But it will always be like a dog chasing its own tail. No matter how much you figure out, how much becomes known, no matter how advanced mankind becomes and how much intelligence he gathers, there will always be an event horizon that is the unknown. Even for what we're calling advanced life forms from elsewhere in the universe, even for them there is the unknown. But to know what is, one does not have to know every detail of the known and the unknown. One would be foolish for attempting this. All you do is get lost in complexity. And complexity always shuns and resists what is simple. That which is simple befuddles the mind that is lost in complexity. How could it be that there's no meaning to life other than to create meaning? That has to be too simple to be true. But that's just it. It's plain and simple. Extremely difficult to recognize before it's realized. The simplicity revealed only after making the realization. And why is something so simple so difficult to recognize? There's just far too much complexities, details, and distractions to become entangled within. Entanglements that are alluring, and stimulate desire. This will entice you, it will repel you, it will convince you, it will discourage you, it will give you clarity and lead you astray. So it's a lot to sort through, and many never get through sorting through it all. On rare occasion, a conscious awareness has an awakening. After being entangled for so long in worldly details, a conscious awareness makes a determination to seek the truth behind all the details, and thus begins one's journey on the spiritual path. This is the process of unlearning what you have learned, ungrasping what you have grasped, unconditioning yourself, letting go of not only what others tell you to think, but what you yourself think. To not think, shutting off the voice in your head that is constantly telling you how things are. Getting rid of all judgments, discriminations, beliefs, opinions, preconceived notions, and bias to just see what is really there. It is the hardest thing to see, and yet there it is, right in front of you. So simple and clear, you do not even notice it. You're looking through it. You're dismissing it. Something so simple insults the intelligence, it offends the ego, it pulls the rug out from under all thoughts had, all beliefs made, all values constructed, all ideas of a self, attachments and the external world. Something so simple that it 
just is, and it's nothing, upsets all of this, and hence it is the most resisted. And what is it resisted with? Language, concepts, actions, reason, logic, common sense, fantasy, superstition, dogma, an endless amount of explanations, labels, and materials, all there to convince you that there's something other than what is. There's a real need for these things to convince you that they exist, because you are giving them life. The longer you stay lost in confusion, the longer sustained is the life of illusion.